I'm doing a lot of things and I, and I enjoy doing a lot of things. Don't get me wrong, but I do, I started to notice that I, my attention was in different places at different times of the day, which was causing me to, to lose focus of my end goal of what I want to do. And essentially, like I, I had mentioned to you, I, I, I want to be an artist. I want to, to share truth. I want to be uh, a speaker. Um, and so a lot of the things that sometimes uh, come every now and then are, are, I would say, lies from, from the world saying like, hey, you need to do this uh, most, most popular and recent thing of, of everything great that's going on in the world. And hey, you need to do this. And so it's almost like, oh, okay, I got to do that. But then I have to do that on top of what I was already doing. And, and oh, now, now I have to learn about that because um, that's important. It connects to all of these. And now I have to add that on top of my, my caseload. And I think that leads to burnout and that leads to uh, attention uh, deficits. And, you know, a lot of these things uh, that cause us to lose focus. And so if you don't mind sharing, like, have, have you experienced that? And, and, and maybe we can later talk about some things that, that we could do uh, to improve that, right? Yeah, like in terms of like, like trying to find a focus or. Yeah, how, how can we find a focus? Should we have a focus if, if we're very artistic? Uh, should we try to narrow down on just one thing or should we keep it general? Um, I, I can also share a little bit about the idea of what we were talking about with Seth Godin. Uh, for those who don't know, Seth Godin is a, is a writer. He has a, a pot, uh, podcast and also a daily blog that he writes every day. And so he, he talks about the practice and how one needs to continue with their practice, whatever craft that might be. So I think he kind of goes along the lines of focusing on the practice. But yeah, so so what are have you ever been in a situation where where you're just doing a lot of things? Oh yeah, my whole life. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. my um I've always worked on multiple projects at once. <laughs> Ever since I was a, ever since I was young, uh, I guess ever since elementary school. Uh, sometimes I would, I think it was around middle school that I worked on actually multiple film projects at the same time, and it would stress me out. And uh, my mom would always point out how, like you know, you're stressing yourself out. You don't have to take on all these projects at once. But I was in my mind, I had to achieve certain things by a certain time. And if I didn't achieve those things, you know, I was failing, you know, I felt like mm -hmm. I wasn't doing enough. So I constantly felt like I had to get this film project done, but it was taking a long time. So I had to start on this other film project, you know, and it just kept going and going. And, and I think also just, I like to, I like to stay busy, I think, because mm -hmm. as I've gotten older, that's kind of died down a little bit, but uh, cause I guess just more tired recently, just been so busy all the time. I just take more breaks, but it used to be where I was just, had to be busy all the time you know and so so now it's more of a balance you know I find balance by taking breaks in between but yeah I definitely experienced like doing a lot of things at once and having a lot of things I want to do at once but not being able to do all of them like filmmaking you know I'm doing a, a counseling right now to get the full license uh to build up to that uh and I, that's my I love it I'm, it's so rewarding and just amazing um and so is filmmaking and so the filmmaking is, you know, pushed to the weekends and stuff, sometimes only one day out of the weekend, because I'm also doing the writing job. You know, can we, we kind of talked about this in another, another podcast, you know, yeah, we have, you know, I'm doing multiple things at once. So it's kind of hard sometimes to, to you can't do everything, you know, you have to kind of pick and choose is what I'm kind of in. That's where I'm at right now, I think, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I know we we've covered and. For those who are listening, we have a podcast that talks about the struggles of being a creative. And so you can definitely go look into that um, if you like. Um, but in, in terms of focus, I think, you know, the idea of focus is really just clarity. If you just have an open focus of life, then, you know, something could pass by and then you're like, oh, OK, then you focus on something and then you focus on another. But if you just have, you know, your focus on one thing and trying to strive for that and, and, and achieve that, that brings more success on the long run. Filmmaking I've done since fourth grade and it's taken me, 
you know, de- over a decade, but I've gotten to a film festival. I've, you know, I've gotten more well known on the internet for it and stuff. And, and I've gotten a few paid kind of small jobs of filmmaking uh, as I've gotten bigger, you know? And so I see that focusing on one thing has actually led to progress over the years. And I actually, I can see it from when it first started to where it is now. And there is progress by just focusing. So what you're saying is right. So I really, I think right now, you know, I, I, in the past I've done like music, I've done uh, like all kinds of different things. You know, I've done painting before, right? Uh, photography, you know, just different things like that, writing philosophy, writing books. So right now I think uh, the time constraints have made me hone in that focus onto three main things, which is counseling, writing, and filmmaking. And I'm able to make it work right now, you know, the writing being the writing job and research, the filmmaking on the weekends, and then the counseling during the week. And so, yeah, like, I think sometimes just bringing it back around is the main point is I think it's about focusing on the things that you can do right now. And sometimes, at least for me right now, it's picking three things. You know, like we can't be focused 24 or like the waking hours, 18 hours or whatever that might be. I think there's there's a span of attention and focus that you can have you know your your attention can can move but the level of focus that you can have is sometimes short you know like whenever we're reading something and it's just so draining because it takes a lot of your focus yeah. or or can we manage a time when we're most focused during the day like we realize like hey in the mornings i'm just like more focused maybe i should just start doing hard activities during the morning get those done once i have those done then i don't have to worry because i know a a lot of ceos do that they Uh, they like hey i'm most effective at this time or i'm most effective at this time and so i'll just schedule all my meetings during this time because that's when i'm most focused we have the natural dip in our circadian rhythm so we feel tired usually between 1 p.m and 3 p.m so i'm like i want to feel tired between 1 3 1 and 3 i'm not going to do blogs in the afternoon and then by the time it's after three it's already racing to five and then it's already you know i want to relax in the afternoon so like i always do all my work i try to do it in the morning so 